Longtime subscribers will know that I have a particular quirk. Well, many quirks, but one in particular, and that is I do not have internet at my home, and that is a conscious choice. Uh, it happened sort of accidentally, but uh, it uh, for the past two years, I have had no access to the internet at my home whatsoever. And uh, it's been a great experience, and I recommend it on occasions, and people have asked me to talk about why. Uh, so that's what this is for. It's pretty simple. So first off, when I moved off to Arizona, um, I, you know, I moved into a place where there were really no good internet companies. I mean, there was like Cox, and it was way overpriced, and something else. Uh, it was all DSL. Um, and, you know, I sort of had the idea, you know what? The place I was living, I was so close to my office and so close to, uh, you know, getting internet there. So I just figured, you know what, if I really won't need internet, I can just walk 10 minutes to campus and uh, do what I need to do and come back. So for a month or so, a month or so I tried that out and it actually works out fine. I mean, there's a little inconvenience, uh, but it's, it's, it's pretty effective. It's pretty good at getting what I need done. Um, but then I started having, like, real benefits of this, and that might be a little confusing. And let me, let me preface it by saying this. A lot of people have the idea that, you know, when you're living in the current year, when you're living in the modern world, you know, we're all so busy. You know, I had, I have classes to teach, I have classes to take, I had work to do, uh, you know, I had assistantships, I had to, you know, talk with students and other things, I had a personal life, I had all this stuff to do, all this stuff on my schedule. Um, but when you subtract, well, l let's put it this way, we're all busy. Um, but what happens is we all have, we d develop these reflexes where when we actually do have free time, we just reflexively fill it up with junk. Uh, and usually the internet helps us to do that. That is, you get home, we all have that reflex where you get home, you plop down, maybe you turn on the TV, maybe you go pull up your browser and scroll through your Facebook feed. Or even if you're out and you have nothing to do for like half a minute, you just reflexively just get up your get out your phone and start playing around with it and we all live in this time where like no one has time to just think or like stop and like contemplate what they're actually doing or spend any kind of quality quality time doing what they need to do um, so when i had no <clears throat> when i had no internet what started happening is that I had a lot of nothing time. And no matter how busy you are, I guarantee you there are going to be hours and hours that you can spend at your house that aren't sleeping. And so what I started doing is started just tinkering. Just tinkering with my computer, tinkering with my academic work, tinkering with other things. Just I actually started reading a lot of the books that I had. Or, you know, when you don't have the internet, you start investing your time in better things. And, of course, when I first stopped having the internet, I had no YouTube channel. The, in fact, this YouTube channel would not exist uh, if I didn't not have, or didn't not have, whatever. If I had no internet, uh, or if I did have the internet, I would have never started this YouTube channel. That was sort of painful to get out, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Um, so wh why is that? The, the reason why is the reason I started really get into, getting into Linux configuration, the reason I really started getting into Vim. I used it superficially before. I used LaTeX superficially before. I, I was interested in computer stuff superficially before. But when I actually have a computer that's highly configurable, that has Linux on it, and that has this nice little command called man, where you can look up you know, how to you know, use any of these programs, um, I, you really start spending quality time with your computer, really getting to know it, or really getting to know not just your computer, but anything else you're actually interested in. Um, because if I didn't have, you know, if I did have the internet, we'll put it that way, if I did have the internet, what would happen is I'd be minorly bored for 20 seconds, and then I'd be like, oh, I'm going to play a game online, I'm going to, you know, just sort of... Uh, drone through YouTube videos. I'm gonna go on the, you know, 4chan or Reddit or something like I don't know, Twitter or whatever people are using. Facebook. Go through my feed for the like the 30th time in the past five minutes, and um, yeah, that's once you get rid of that reflex, you realize you have so much more that you can do. Um, so I spent hours at my house just figuring out how do I how do I do this more effectively on, on my computer. Or let me think about you know what I'm actually doing in my job. 
uh, let me read more, let me like actually, I don't want to say improve myself because that sounds a little wanky, but that is, that is really what it was. It was like I'm actually doing, I'm actually maturing in a more real way than if I were just messing around and, you know, I, there's no way that if I wanted to, I could not watch a bunch of Vine comps till 2 a.m. Uh, I just, you know, I also, even if I wanted to, I couldn't watch porn. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't, you know, do all of these things. And once you take that away, it's just, it's fantastic. Um, so this is, again, this is where my YouTube channel came from. I started messing around with my system, messing around, you know, people, you know, every once in a while I get like butthurt comments, you know, you get butthurt comments for all kind of things. But one of them is, oh, you do this stuff so well, so you must be obsessed with it and, you know, blah, blah, blah. I mean, even the stuff I do my YouTube channel on, like, I don't really give that much of a crap about it. Like, you know, I could probably live without a computer or anything else. Um, but since I've had all this free time, I've really been able to excel or at least dabble in things that, uh, you know, look, look maybe difficult, but they're actually really easy and accessible. And if you could get yourself away from having that reflex, that reflex to just crowd your brain up with like, you know, the, the superficial pleasure of going through your Facebook feed or all these other, other internet things, if you could get rid of that, you would be in a better, better position as well. Um, and I feel like it's something, once you really have this sort of freedom, I don't feel like it, it leaves you. I mean, so now in the past month or so, I have, I've actually moved into a new place, uh, with, you know, a roommate and all, and we do actually have internet by default. We have, we don't have Wi-Fi, um, so that is another limitation, but we do have internet. Um, and I still feel like I have cultivated so many good habits that it actually doesn't matter. Like, I don't really feel as distracted by the computer anymore. I can get on it, I can, you know, play around with it every once in a while, maybe check my email, um, but, like, it just, it's not something that distracts me like it used to be, it used to. You know, I can do other things, I can read books, and when, even when I do have the internet here, um, I'll be doing something else on my computer. I'll be writing something, some kind of little program to do something, or, um, it's just, you know, better. It's, it's, it's once the cat is out of the bag, it's an improvement. Um, and let me tell you, the best times were those where I not only didn't have internet, but for whatever reason, my phone was broken or lost or something like that. So even if I, you know, even if I wanted to see the internet on this little phone, uh, I couldn't do it. Or even if I wanted to call or text someone, I couldn't do it. Like I'm stuck, like you're anchored to a place where you you have to get things done. I, I don't necessarily want to put it in those words, but you're anchored, you know, in a place where you can really spend your time in a depthy way. So what I ended up doing, I mean, you know, what I, what I, my sort of workflow, I guess, is that I would really have to think about the things I wanted to invest time in. Let's say, you know, I wanted to learn, so, you know, even if I wanted to watch YouTube, let's say, oh, there's a really good YouTube channel that puts out good content and I want to learn about this. Well, what I do is when I'm at work, I would have YouTube DL just download the whole channel or, you know, if I wanted to see some, you know, a movie or TV or, you know, if I wanted to read something, I'd like just download the web pages. And then when I, when I got home, that's when I, you know, basically consume all this content. And what that causes is it, it makes it so like you don't have ADHD on the internet. Instead, you're thinking about the things you are, you're consuming and you're spending your time in and investing, you know, investing your effort in. Um, so it makes it so you don't really waste your consumption of the internet. You're actually, you know, because the problem with the internet is not that there's not good stuff there. Or it's that, like, there's so much noise. There's so much junk not in the sense of just bad content, but there's so much distraction. There's so much getting in your way that's, you know, driving you away from actually spending good time. So anyway, I do recommend to all of my subscribers, not just to like, limit your exposure to the internet, but really everything else in modern life, because a lot of it is just, uh, it, it's just like the equivalent of junk food. Like your brain, your brain is looking to be occupied. And when you're doing something like going through your feeds and just sort of browsing, uh, you know, Reddit or something or 4chan just without any mind to it, um, you, you're just sort of giving it junk food. Um, and you could be, you could be doing a whole lot more. Um, 
so yeah that's that's really i just wanted to do a video on this just because people ask me i highly recommend it and i really hi highly recommend cultivating a mindset where you're not drowned by drowned by the little nagging things of modernity that's something that i recommend um but uh yeah i, gu I guess that's about it so you know say what you think do whatever you want uh, but that's my recommendations. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.